like shit. I never really believed it before Jacob and Peggy moved in up here, but there ain't no such thing as being over scared. Hey, deputy. Hey, you got a sec? shit happened, I wouldn't have found my purpose. Hey, Jeff. Def, can we talk? Talk out here. I'm not sure what's going on. You're gonna help us take this mountain back. Good idea. I just do the shit that needs to get done. your eyes on the road. I'll do the rest. Jess, have you ever thought of joining the forces? The army? Nah. I don't like being lost. Oh,
It takes 10 days for civilization to collapse. Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just 10 days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne, all Americans, hoorah! <laughs> One night, there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food, no radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. And it wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. And you see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. Sacrifice the weak.
good. Not bad. Starts again. Follow me. He knows you're ready to do it. Look. Trials. See? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. You can't ever go back. Do you understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. It's almost done. I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. You're gone. Find him. It's an order. Search everywhere. Don't no, 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 not yet. Not yet. Oh, fuck.
We don't want Briggs getting hurt. Just a heads up, I don't have cameras in the building. Remember, once you're inside, swap the tape and let the deprogramming run its course. Nice clean headshot is pretty sweet. Arrow right to the eye. Dead before they even hit the ground. It should be close now. Stay real quiet in there. We don't want Briggs getting hurt. Just a heads up, I don't have cameras in the building. Remember, once you're inside, swap the tape and let the deprogramming run its course. Too easy. Oh. 
damn hero in my books. Things are looking real good for Briggs. Whitetails are on the way to pick him up. Jacob won't be using the Grandview to fuck with anyone now. God damn. I'd love to see his ugly mug when he hears he lost his little torture chamber. You know, you proved everyone wrong, Deb. Everyone except me. Always knew you were the real deal. I'll see you back at the den, soldier. Take care. Simple and 
Hey, you got a sec? Got more reports of Peggy's in the area. Let's check in with Mr. Drubman, see if he needs any help. Reports of judges in the area. We can't let them get to Perkins. We need her research if we're gonna beat Jacob. 
Let's go make sure she's not in any trouble. We'll catch you later. I need some help! 